I hope I don't catch a lot of heat for saying this. Ever since we have this anti-police movement out there calling out defunding the police departments and allocate resources, so the crime been on the rise. Believe it or not, many places in the country are seeing high crimes and then there's not really much to be done about it because the cops are fleeing the scene, they don't want to get involved, they don't want their name to be on the news, and then what we're seeing is chaos. Actually, yesterday, Monday, June 29th, at the autonomous zone, supposedly the model for the United States, the model for defunding the police department and the way things should be looking, so far, we're having crimes there. Somebody was shot dead and another person was actually injured. If you look at my previous video, when I talk about what's going on in Seattle, there were shootings and people were getting killed. So basically, what we're seeing is, doesn't seem to work fully and I think we need more structural approach to improve the situation in Seattle because right now what we're seeing is high crimes even in New York City people are getting shot and killed all over the place it's funny somebody was actually doing his car wash and then a random guy walked up to him and shot him in the neck he dropped dead and another story that's even worse somebody was actually walking around going, and somebody went on a killing spree and he shot actually somebody in the face and another person was actually shot in the back both died no arrest was made it's been like that and in the meantime what we're seeing is cops are giving up cops don't want to get involved their life is at stake and then they're staying away from the scene so really what we're seeing out here is problematic and it's disturbing and something should be done about it we're not really calling out to get rid of all the cops we need structural change and I think this is what the message uh, should be focused on not abolishing gradually the police departments and think we're gonna get away with murder so it's not gonna happen and I'm hoping it doesn't happen although in Seattle they're moving forward with a legislation to defund the police departments I simply don't know what some of these people are thinking but the bottom line is I'm pro cop I hate to say it, but I'm pro cop but I want structural change to be implemented so that people are safe sometimes you hear like people want to allocate resources from the police departments to, to our community well, it makes sense, it sounds good, but sometimes you wonder, what do you, where do you start? So far, what we're seeing is crimes on the rise. People are being murdered from left to right, and you really don't know where to start from. It's, it's just incredible, and I think something has to be done about it, and I feel sorry for the cops that are putting their lives um, out there to save people, but now, it just it's just incredible. We can't just look at all the cops and think they're all bad. So of course there are bad apples out there, but I think there are better ways to fix the problem. And the way to fix the problem is by imposing more training and then get rid of bad cops, make them accountable for whatever they have committed. So that's the way to fix the problem. But geez, we have to do something. The city is becoming very unsafe. I mean, I don't feel like going to the city anymore to record because you never know any random people might drive by on a killing spree next thing you know you ended up getting shot that's not the perfect scenario that's definitely not what we want and we don't have to go that path so something must be done calling out all cops are bad all cops are racist is nonsense it's not gonna fix anything and if anything we're gonna be at risk we're talking about regular individuals that are on the road going shopping to taking their kids to school, go to their work, they're gonna be at risk. And that's the problem. And that's what we should fix the problem. So, it's funny, I was I was looking at the newspaper and funny enough, cops were showing up, intervening at a crime at a crime scene or at a shooting, and then people were hurling bottles, people were throwing bottles from left to right at the cops and they're leaving the place. It's amazing what's going on. And it's outrageous that we're demonizing our finest police officers. It just doesn't make sense. Of course, there are bad apples. Get them out. That's the best way to handle the situation. Not thinking that we're going to be able to do a job if we get rid of all the cops. It's understandable. You want to, you want to allocate resources to certain programs like youth programs. You know, mental health issues. But we seem, we seem to deny the fact that sometimes people are simply bad. Believe it or not, some people are really bad people and then you have to find a way. You have to get rid of them. You have to put them in a hospital. Either you put them in a mental hospital or you put them in jail. They don't belong to the streets because otherwise they're gonna commit crimes. Yeah, if you guys like this video, remember to smash the like button, 
drop a comment I'll do my best I would reply I would like to hear your opinions I know some of you guys are not gonna like what I'm saying but I'm trying to keep it real as best as I can and that's the video and I'll see you in the next one thank you